Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. I know I've been kind of out of it for a while, but after being stranded on Moon and a very long time in uh, psychiatric reform, apparently my psych my psychiatrist thinks that uh, I'm suffering from post traumatic stress after being uh, isolated on the Moon. Get it, get it. Yes, I'm almost there. I just gotta keep going. I want to go. I can't stay. No, let me. Can you bring it back to the old world here? I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. But anyway, I'm back, and I'm here in my little base, my moon base, and I'm gonna show you around a little bit. This is something I put together just so I have a place that has an atmosphere, and. Basically how that works is, although you can't see it, there's an oxygen collector out there in the middle of my oxygen field, that's what I call it. It's comprised of trees and wheat, both of which make excellent sources for the oxygen collector. Uh, just make sure you got it powered. As you can see, I have a, a power source right there. Uh, uh, mixed, let's see, I use a, uh, a steam turbine on top of an aqueous accumulator, and it pretty much provides an infinite source of power which is great and uh, and of course the oxygen comes from that and I have it coming through what is known as a sealable pipe so um, I can show you that right here Oops. <laughs> and pretty much what it is is it's just an oxygen pipe and two tin decoration blocks and those are created with just a uh, stone block and a compressed tin. So, and you definitely need those because uh, otherwise you will not have a sealed environment, which is what is required for the oxygen sealers, which is this thing here. As you can see right now, it's set to sealed. As long as this is displayed, you will have a breathable atmosphere, and which is a good thing because otherwise you will suffocate to the death. <laughs> Um, and the simple thing about the oxygen sealer is it's pretty straightforward to make. You have four compressed aluminum, two oxygen vents, a fan, and two compressed steel. And of course, the larger your base, the more of these you will need. So as you can see, I have uh, four. And unfortunately, you can see my base is kind of small. And so yeah, so if you build like a really big base, you're going to need a shit ton of these. And good luck with that. Uh, the other thing I have is uh, an enhanced portal that leads back to my base on the overworld. Of course, this makes it easier for me to get to go back and forth without constantly running the risk of crashing my rocket again and again and again and again. And so, help me God if I have to have Raven come save my ass, because God, that was embarrassing the first time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean that's just pretty much the place. You know, I got uh, got my oxygen compressors to refill my tanks. And a secondary um, power source, because I could, because um, the red, the leadstone here, which also includes redstone, uh, cannot be used to, or I'm sorry, cannot. There's nothing that can seal them in. So to bring it in from outside would create an unsealed environment, which doesn't work. And of course, the last piece here is my airlock. Of course, you got the airlock frame, as well as a controller. Now the frame is used by a concentrator as well as six compressed aluminum and two compressed steel for four. And the controller is a little bit more advanced as you will need a meteoric iron. So of course you have to come here for that because you have to, to mine the meteorites that crash onto the lunar surface. You also need a basic wafer as well as six compressed uh, steels. Now the neat thing about the controller, and I can show you here, is you can st uh, set certain things up. Um, if you have a redstone signal you can set it to uh, open with that. The way I have it set up is I just have, you know, if anyone's within two meters of the door, which you can change, uh, it'll open and close automatically. And of course, you could, if you do this, see if I do this right here, now only I can enter and, and exit this base. But of course, you know, I'm just gonna save it for everyone. And horizontal mode, if you want to have it like on the floor or on the ceiling, you can have it, <clears throat> you can set it up that way, which makes it really cool. Um, and of course, we go outside. I got my landing pad now. I'm I'm, su I'm suffering a little bit of a glitch. Uh, that rocket shouldn't be there. The only thing should, that should be here is my lunar lander. 
and yeah, that's it. But I got my launch pad, which is centered over my crater, my crash crater here. <laughs> that's where I died. But oh, oh no, this is my base, and I also should have my flag there. That's part of the glitch for some reason. Uh, but now that that's now that, now that you've seen my wonderful little moon base. I think it's time that we get to the real reason I'm back here, and that is the Moon Dungeon. That's right, it's time to go to the Moon Dungeon. So, uh, I'm going to go to the nearest one, and I will be right back once I get there. Pause recording. Zoom recording. Okay, I'm back, and here is the entrance to the lunar dungeon. If you take a look on the map, you can see it looks like uh, a darkened crater. So if you see that on the map anywhere, and if, of course if I zoom out, you can see that there's a whole bunch of them dotted in the places that I've been. You know, um, so this, of course, the moon is loaded with them. But this is what it looks like when you're up in, when you're up close. Uh, if you look down, you can see the the stone. And this one actually has a chest right off the bat, so... Lucky me. Let's go see what I get to steal from this place. Of course, I should be ready. Make sure you have a good selection of uh, uh, glowstone torches, because it looks like it's dark as hell down here. Let's see. Dragon egg? I'll take that. Take, 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 take. Awesome. Okay. So, let's go in. Already, there's a shit ton of webs and monster spawners and a creeper. Holy shit! Fucking just creeping out of the darkness. Oh, haha! You didn't kill me. You suck. But I can't see a fucking thing, and I know there's another one just hiding somewhere. Ah, you son of a bitch! You got me caught in a web. A web of lies. A web of death. Get me out of this fucking thing. There's another creeper there. Oh god, get away from me! Get away from me, get in the web, get in the web, you little bitch. Oh! God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> this dungeon just might kill me. As if the rocket crash wasn't bad enough. Okay. Okay, I've taken out the spawners for this room. It's still kind of dark in here, but I guess that's just how it is on the moon. Unfortunately, it probably doesn't help that I think it's uh, becoming nighttime on the surface right now. Oh, holy fuck, there's another creeper. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me! God damn it, stop wrecking my torches. I'll tell you one thing, these, this, yeah, this dungeon is loaded with fucking monsters. God, get away from me. My brain. Ah, holy god. Skeleton. There we go. That'll kill him. Okay. Let's take these out fast. Ah. Really? Serious? 
seriously? Son of a bitch. Hell no. Hell no, 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 no. Yeah, that's why I think of your fucking spawner. There's webs everywhere in these rooms. Although I do like the fact that it's dark. You have no idea what's coming at you. Even if it is annoying as hell. Huh. Oh, I guess that doesn't go anywhere. I imagine these can intersect with uh, caves on the ground. Oh, spider. Die, motherfucker. Ugh, really? Ah. Retreat for a split second while I recharge my health. <laughs> I guess it was only a matter of time before he uh, dropped some product placements in my videos. That pissed off Pat. <laughs> okay, fucking die, skeletons. Fuck that's it. Yeah, that's right. Die, motherfuckers. Still can't see a damn thing. Let's take this out before I come back. I'm afraid to look at myself. you down there. Don't think you're all slick and shit. It's because I can't see a fucking thing and there's probably a creeper down there too. Doesn't mean I'm not going to come after your ass. Holy crap, there's a spider. Oh, but he shot the spider, so now they're going after each other. Kick his ass, spider. It's still dark as hell. I got bored. <laughs> now we got like, Raven quoting Star Trek. Fucking nerd. Holy crap, no skeleton. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I got my trusty sword here that's just about broken. God damn it. Really? This shit doesn't work well in the low gravity. But it does kind of work out as a trap. I'll give him that. Gotcha. <laughs> you weren't fast enough. You were not fast enough to save your spawner. And now you die. I just gotta get to that second spawner. Shit, that was an entrance. That would have been the perfect time for a creeper to come up and kill me. Death by creeper is all too familiar on this server. Okay, there's another skeleton down there. Ow. How come they get the dual wield and I can't? That's just not fair. Okay. Uh, I see I see you there, you fucking creeper. What the fuck? Lag. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, thank you for pushing me out of there. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your reward is your death. Oh. Okay. I still say this is going to be the death of me. I also got to make sure that I uh, watch my oxygen. It's probably only a matter of time, but luckily I'm loaded with extra tanks, so 
Oxygen should not be a concern for me here. If anything is a concern to me is those damn monsters. Ugh, like that. God damn it. And I'm stuck in the web again. Jesus. Get me out of this. Fucking die, evolve, zombie thing. You're lucky I'm stuck in a web. I kick your ass. <laughs> I do have it intersected with a cave. Yeah, ow. Ow, really? Luckily I have some moonstone on me. I'm going to block this shit off. There we go. Now we can't come out of here. Oh, we got a chest. This one's pretty empty. It's making me nervous. Ah, shiny ingot. I can use that. Ooh, music disc. I'll take that, 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 and that. Uh, you can have that. You can have the brain. You can have those. And I'll take the bucket. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, what's this? Ah. It's the final chamber. Hmm. Yeah, now I, I read up on this a little bit. This is the evolved skeleton boss. And you know, he's supposed to pick you up and throw you around. So I'm just going to do what I do best and cheat. And how am I going to do that? You ask a lot. Well, first I'm going to jump into bat form. And then I am going to use these moon turfs. off the lava so he can't fucking throw me into it. Since that seems to be his signature attack is to pick your ass up and throw you in lava. And I will be damned if I'm going to let him kill me that way. Haha, <laughs> suck it, bitch. Okay. That's right. Let's hope this is up. Ow. Aw, oh, you can't throw me in lava? The hell kind of laugh is that? Ow. See, it's a good thing I had that backup sword, didn't it? And die, motherfucker. Oh, I think he's glitched. I think he's stuck. Uh you couldn't kill me, you couldn't kill me, and I'm cheating like a motherfucker, haha, <laughs> I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm a cheating bitch, oh shit, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow or something. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yes. Now look at all that experience, damn. I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta give it this, this these moon dungeons, especially with the abundance of them on the moon, it's a great place to farm for experience. So anyway, all right, now that I've killed him, let's get my just, well, unjust reward since I cheated. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need the key, tier one dungeon key, you can unlock the chest, and let's see what I got. Uh, ooh, my tier two rocket. I'm going to Mars, bitches. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll take the dragon eggs. I still have no clue what these are, but I'll take them anyway. Uh, stencil, sure. Name tag, sure. Fuck it. I will clean this. I will clean this shit out. Here we go. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Okay. And and now that I'm done cheating, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of cheating form. Now. Well. Holy crap. I am a fucking pincushion. Well, guys, that was the Moon Dungeon. And it was pretty interesting. Um, definitely loaded down with monsters. And the final boss, if you weren't using the other blocks or whatever to block off the lava corners, would be a real pain in the ass. But, pretty
pretty neat, pretty innovative, and like I said, a great place to farm for experience. And now that I've got the tier 2 rocket schematic, the next step will be to farm the living shit out of the meteorites on the lunar surface, because you will need a ton of those to build your next tier of rocket. So, I'm going to do that, and next time I think we will be ready to try our hand at Mars. Hopefully I won't die. I'll probably die. Fuck, I'm going to die. Anyway, uh, so, until next time, keeping it real. And that's right with my afro. Bye, guys.